Right, good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Carrying on today, this is day two of the Recaro seats for the Monday install video. If you haven't watched the last video yet where I installed the front two seats here, I recommend going back, watching that, get yourself caught up. You'll understand a little bit better as to what goes on in this video. Now, today's plan is to get the rear seats in. As you can see, I didn't get time to finish that off last time, so I wanna get the rear seats in, that's number one priority. And I also want to get the door cards done today. I want to get the door cards swapped out today as well because these ones are different to the ones that were given to me and the other ones are much nicer than these. So I want to get them swapped out. That should be fairly easy. A few screws, they pop off um, and I can stick the new ones on. There is another job that I want to get done in the interior, but we're going to see how we are for time. I also got some new floor mats, which came this morning in the post. So I'm excited to stick them in as well. That should freshen up the interior a little bit. So without further ado, let's get started putting these rear seats in. They should be fairly easy because they came out pretty easily. I'm excited to see what it all looks like when it's all in the car together. All right, so real quick for those of you that haven't seen, these are the old rear seats here, the half leathers, as you can see. And then right next to them, I've stuck the new ones. These are the full leather. They're really not that different to these ones, as you can see. It's really hard to tell the difference between them other than that middle bit being leather and these ones being cloth. That's kind of it. And um, the armrest is on both of them. Got all the headrests on there. It obviously comes with a middle seat belt. Um, they need a clean for sure. Again, like the fronts, they are pretty dirty. They've been stuck in someone's workshop for about a year, so they're gonna have picked up some dirt and grime. So that's the first step. I'm gonna get these cleaned down. I'm gonna use that citrus cleaner again. Give them a wipe down. And then we can go ahead and get them fitted. Gonna use the old technique of a quick brush down. Get rid of all the loose stuff. the old auto bright give it a good spritz clean that citrus degreaser did its job again as you can see they look real good same with that one all clean all clean and then these parts i don't know if i explained where these go yet but these parts have been cleaned up as well they're leather i'll quickly show you where they go actually just to up update you so those leather pieces that i just showed you ow i'll just smack my knee they go right that piece of trim right there, these are plastic at the minute, they're not leather. I've already taken this one out. Just covers where the seat belt reel is. Um, I'm gonna take this one out, it's just two screws, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then just pops off. And I'm gonna replace them as well. So it'll be leather all the way across, and we won't have those horrible plastic trim anymore. I actually had no idea that you could even change these bits here until the guy actually gave me the pieces. I just still can't believe how much I paid for it, to be honest. 40 pound for the whole lot including door cards and these trim pieces here, it's mad. There we go. Right, so both of those side pieces are now in you probably can't tell much different on the camera but they are leather they sort of look like the old ones they don't really look any different but I figured that whilst I've got them I might as well use them there's this one as well all in quite nice 
I'm sure they look nice once the seats are in, and that's the next thing to do. I'm gonna put the middle seat and the uh, passenger side one in first, then I'll put the smaller one in after. I'll just slot in here, and then go into this whole thing, and then that should be job done. They're pretty easy, really. Now I know how to take them out, they're actually pretty easy to put back in. See what happens when we put them down, see if they fit all right. Yep, looks good to me. They even got a little pull cord, the other ones didn't have that. It's quite nice to be able to pull them up easier. Oh, they look comfortable, don't they? Liking them. Liking them a lot. Just having a little sit, checking out the squishiness. Oh, it's nice. Really comfortable, actually. Just sink into them. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy. Boot carpet is now in, as you can see. It needs a really good hoover. I didn't hoover that yet because um, I was waiting. The back of the seats also need a hoover, so I'm going to hoover the whole boot out, back of the seats, and then the parcel shelf will get hoovered as well. Um, and then, that is the boot done, I can put all my stuff back in there. And then we can move on to the door cards, I think. Good old Henry, helping me out as always, keeping things clean. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get the boot, to be honest. I am on the lookout for another one of these um, boot mats. If anyone near me has got one, this one looks like it's had all sorts of stuff in the oil. It's just completely browned out and stained. I could probably clean it up, probably, but I'd rather just chuck a new one in because it's a bit deformed anyway. I also need the bit that goes under the carpet as well that holds it and keeps it flat. Uh, my dad's got one in his, but this one never came with one. So it's a bit deformed because it sits on the bottom wheel, I've just stuck the old mats under there for now, but I need a new one of these if anyone's got one. Also give a parcel shelf a quick hoover, that's back in, so that's the boot done. Right now I need your guys' help. In the last video you know that I put the two front seats into the car, the two Recaro leathers. Now I don't know what car these are out of, I know that they're out of a Mondeo ST220 obviously, but apparently the wiring is different on these to a, from a facelift to a pre-facelift. Now I don't know what mine is. I think mine's a pre-facelift and these might be out of a facelift car, I'm not sure. Either way, what's happening, it's kind of funny but it's serious at the same time. I drove the car yesterday after I'd fitted the front seats um, and what I noticed was two different things. Number one, 
The heated seats come on instantly as soon as you turn the ignition on and they are full whack. I was driving down the road and I thought my bum was getting really hot um, and I felt sort of under my seat and my heated seat was on but the switch was not on and the switch was off but the heated seat was still on. That's one issue. Number two is I plugged my seatbelt in to the mechanism and for some reason the car didn't know that my seatbelt was plugged in. The little seatbelt warning light kept flashing and then it was making the dinging noise as well as to say my seatbelt wasn't on when it was plugged in. So I don't know if there's any other issues apart from that because I haven't sussed any yet but those two things, quite important really because that dinging is going to get annoying real quick for the seatbelt um, and also I'm not sure if the seatbelt tensioner would work if I got in a crash because of that. Uh, number two, I don't want to be driving around with like a hot bum all the time especially in this weather it's boiling at the minute i need someone out there that's good with electrics in cars to let me know if there's anything i need to do to these or I need to change any of the wiring out any of that stuff do i need to put my old seat belt buckles from the old seats on these ones again let me know i really don't know i'm not sure but it's causing me issues and it really means that i can't drive the car too much at the moment um, because it's annoying and could be dangerous as well so let me know as soon as this video goes up let me know down in the comments if that's a thing and if I need to do anything to solve it it is a problem it is a problem and the passenger one does it as well they both seats heat up I put my hand on the passenger seat and that was heating up as well so if any of you know what I need to do to these things to get them to work properly let me know down in the comments all help is appreciated Right, okay, so it's been a couple of days since the last little bit of footage that I showed you. Um, I kind of got carried away, after I filmed that bit, I kind of got carried away, um, did a little bit of research on what the issue could be with these heated seats. Turns out that I think I found out what the issue is, but I have still yet to test it. Now, did a bit of research, spoke to a few people, did a bit of Googling and looked on some forums, as you do when you've got an issue with your car. Um, I checked all of the relevant things that needed to be done. Now, there's a few things that I just want to clear up. Um, I found out that this car is a facelift. I think anything after 2003 of a Mondeo is a facelift version, but there is also a final facelift version, um, and then there's a pre-facelift, which is pre-2003. I think I've got that right. Someone will uh, tell me in the comments, I'm sure. Anyway, um, apparently that when you switch seats from pre-facelift to facelift to final facelift and that sort of thing, the wiring can be different and you can get issues um, now, I don't know what these seats were out of. I don't know what year the car was or anything like that. Um, I just sort of bought them because they were cheap. Now, the two issues that you can have when you put a facelift into a non-facelift and vice versa is you can have problems with the heated seats and you can have problems with the uh, seatbelt buckle. Now, I don't think that I'm having that issue. However, I do now know why the heated elements in the seats are on constantly. After a bit of digging, um, I tried to find the relay in the car, couldn't find the relay. But what I did find is that in the engine bay fuse box, this fuse, which I think is F5 on the, uh, on the diagram, this fuse right here, which is a 60 amp fuse, as you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, it's burnt out and it's broken. Um, and this is what is causing, or this is what controls the heated seats, and this is what is causing them to stay on constantly. Um, so I've ordered two of these, as a, like one as a spare. I'm going to change it, and I think the reason that this blue is because when I fit the driver's side seat, um, I unplugged the battery, as you saw, I took the negative off, um, plugged it in, and then I put the battery back on because I needed to shut the window. Um, and then I forgot the battery was on, and then I fit the passenger seat, without the battery being off, and I think maybe I've shorted something. Um, but this is a 60 amp fuse, and that's a big fuse to blow. So I'm hoping that it was just my misjudgment um, and my forgetfulness that's caused this fuse to blow, and I think by replacing it, I'm hoping that's gonna remedy the fact that the heated seats are constantly on. So that's one thing. Number two is the seat buckle issue. Um, it doesn't happen all the time. It only happens every now and again. And if I unbuckle it and put it back in more firmly the second time, it doesn't come back on anymore. So I think that I potentially have a problem with the actual seat buckle itself. Um, I'm gonna carry on using it, but if the problem persists, I am gonna actually change out this buckle for one off the old seat because they're exactly the same. Uh, it just means I have to remove the seat again and uh, uh, change the buckle mechanism over, um, which is not a problem because the passenger side one doesn't do it. Um, and none of the others do it. It's just literally this this driver's one. So I'm gonna end this video here a little bit more abruptly than I was hoping. I was hoping to do a few more jobs today, but as you can see, the weather, 
has took a turn for the worst. I don't really like working out on the car in this sort of weather. It's pretty dismal and uh, pretty bleak. So I'm going to end this video there. I apologise it wasn't as long or as exciting as I was hoping it was going to be. I still haven't done the door cards yet either, um, but that's just the way it goes. The other thing that I was going to do, I'll just quickly tell you, so you'll see it in a video coming up, is my dials. I'll see if I can actually show you. My dials actually only light up on one side, so the speedo side works, but the uh, this whole side doesn't light up at night time, which is not really much good. I'll just quickly see if I can show you. So you can see that that side is somewhat lit up. It's not very not very good, to be honest. But the other side, I'll try and guard it, there you go. The other side is completely unlit, um, which is not much good. When you're driving at night time, only having that side of the dash, and also the bulbs in this one are rubbish. So I'm gonna take the dials out, um, and I've bought brand new bulbs for this, so I'll change out all the bulbs so that we have all working dials again, hopefully. But that will probably end up being in the next video. Um, because, oh hang on, that'll probably end up being in the next video because I, I'm not going to do it today. The fuses should also be here by then, so I'll switch out the fuse and hopefully that'll fix the heated seat issue. Um, and that's kind of it. Um, the, all the seats are in though, as you can see. Oh, I've got them down at the minute because I, uh, I had something big in the boot. But all the seats are in, you guys have seen that. Uh, they're really comfortable, they all are great. The heated seats have just actually warmed up now, I've had the ignition on just now. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm really stoked with the new Recaro seats, especially these ones in the front there. They are beautiful. Apart from the few little issues they've got, they are beautiful seats, so I'm very happy. Make sure you subscribe for future content. I've got a lot of things coming your way. I might start doing just two videos a week for uh, the time being, whilst I haven't got like a project on the go. And as soon as I get a new project, um, I'll up it back up to three. It's just really hard to keep on top of three decent, like quality content videos a week when you haven't got an actual project going on. Um, I'm just sort of doing little bits and pieces here and there, but I've still got things I need to do to all my cars. The content will be coming very soon, so stick around for that. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you want to check out my hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, that sort of thing, uh, the link is always in the description. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram to check out what I'm up to on a daily basis, and I'll see you guys in the next video.